The more traditional option for Graves' disease in this country for the past 20 years has been radioactive iodine ablation, where you take a pill um, and that pill destroys the, the hyperactive thyroid cells. Um, over the last 10 years, we have been doing a lot more surgery for Graves' disease, and I think it's an excellent option for Graves' disease. The advantages to surgery for Graves' disease is that it cures your hyperthyroidism instantly. As soon as you have surgery, your hyperthyroidism is cured. We notice a big decrease in antibody levels after surgery for Graves' disease, which you do not see in radioactive iodine. And with surgery for Graves' disease, you don't have to be reliant on long-term antithyroid therapy. You will have to take levothyroxine after surgery to replace the normal function of your thyroid gland. It's very important that you look for an experienced endocrine surgeon to do a thyroidectomy for Graves' disease, as there are some complications that can happen with thyroid surgery. These complications are very low if you have an experienced high volume endocrine surgeon performing that surgery. After surgery for Graves' disease, most people are back to work within one week. It's usually done through about a two to three inch incision in the neck and the thyroid is removed completely. Usually um, people go home the same day if, you're done, if your surgery is done at a high volume center with an experienced endocrine surgeon. Some patients will end up staying one night in the hospital, but usually not more than that.